Hello everyone and welcome to another recipe episode. I'll be making this Moroccan tagine, which is both vegan and gluten-free. It's almost the end of Ramadan 2024, which means that Eid is coming up, which is a huge feasting holiday, and I've had the opportunity to enjoy and partake in this holiday a couple of times when I was living abroad. So I figured this time around, in honor of Eid, I could make a festive tagine dish. Before I count off the ingredients, I'm gonna take a moment to spotlight the beautiful tagine cookware that I purchased for this episode. It's the first tagine I've ever owned. I think it's so beautiful. If you didn't see it already, I recently posted a video of me unboxing this tagine. I'll link that video up here so you can go check it out. Now let's run through each of the 14 ingredients that are going into this Moroccan tagine. First up, we have two russet potatoes, which I peeled and cut into little cubes, two chopped yellow onions, two large carrots, which I also chopped into little pieces, 10 chopped cloves of garlic, one can of garbanzo beans, they're also known as chickpeas, one can of fire roasted diced tomatoes, one quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil, one tablespoon of harissa seasoning, one teaspoon of coriander, one half teaspoon of turmeric, four cups of vegetable broth, I'm using this better than bouillon brand, a little bit of salt to taste, a handful of chopped parsley, and finally some lemon juice to spritz on at the very end. In case you're wondering what recipe I'm using for this, it's actually a a Moroccan vegan tagine recipe that was tucked inside the box that my tagine came in. This is the brand of tagine that I ordered for this episode and I'll give you a quick look at the actual recipe in case you'd like to follow along yourself. It's a pretty straightforward recipe. Everything takes place over on my stovetop. In short, the recipe is really just one long sequence of adding the ingredients one by one into the tagine. That pretty much covers everything in a nutshell for this recipe, so now I'm gonna bring you over to my stovetop where the tagine is waiting for me and I'll show you how I combine these 14 ingredients to make the vegan Moroccan tagine. I am so hungry right now, so hollow. I really have worked up an appetite making this tagine and I cannot wait to eat all of this. I didn't mention it at the beginning, but I did make a batch of brown rice. The recipe recommends that you make some kind of starch like couscous rice, I forget what else they mentioned, but you know, something to basically have as the base of your tagine stew. I also wanted to spotlight this lovely Moroccan mint green tea. I ordered these glass tea glasses because they reminded me of the glasses I would drink sweet tea out of when I spent a summer in Morocco. This is the brand of tea I decided to go with in case you're wondering. All right, moment of truth. I wanna be super, super careful with this top because it's a bit heavy and ungainly. This is actually making me a little bit nervous, so I'm gonna scooch this over here. I could just picture it rolling off my countertop and shattering all over my floor, and I would just be so sad if that happened. I'm gonna turn now to the base. It's so heavy. I mean, I love how sturdy it is when it sits on the stovetop. You know it's not going anywhere. Let's try to not make too much of a splattery mess dishing this up. It's a little challenging because there is a lot of liquid in this. Now it is time to eat this festive Moroccan tagine. Let's see. It is pretty hot, so hopefully I don't burn myself. What I love so much about this recipe is just how many cloves of garlic go in here. I'm one of those people who almost always doubles, maybe even triples the number of cloves of garlic that go into a recipe, but honestly, this one already had 10 cloves of garlic and I figured that's like a lot of garlic. I may not want to overdo it for this one. I hope I was able to introduce at least some of you to tagines and 
maybe have convinced some of you to even buy your own tagine cooker for yourself. That is everything for this Moroccan tagine recipe episode. Thank you so much for watching and Eid Mubarak to anyone who's celebrating Eid this year. Take care everybody, eat well, and I will see you in the next episode on this channel. Bye!